James Adams of Tri-State Football here with Coach Speck from the St. X Bombers. Coach, 23-7 to late in the third quarter. You guys win this game 29-23. to How did you make such an incredible comeback? Well, I think, I think it hinged on the block punt. When we were able to block that punt and score, I think it, it just it rejuvenated the offense. It added life to the defense. I thought our defense played hard in the first half. We didn't play very smart, made some, some huge assignment errors. Um, and our offense really was struggling a little bit. Coleraine's pretty special defensively, but I think that block punt just infused our kids with some emotion and some belief that, hey, we can do this, and then they just kept grinding. Not only big play right there on special teams with the block punt for the touchdown, to start the game you guys get a big return, and then you get a big, and then you get a big drive to score to take that early lead. At the time, Coach, I was very surprised, and then the Coleraine defense you pointed out was very good, stepped up. What adjustments did you make at halftime, and particularly in the, into the fourth quarter where Sean Clifford and that offense started rolling? Well, I think uh, what happened, Sean really created some things with his legs. You know, I think that was a difference. That was a difference maker. Um, I'm not sure the adjustments. I'll tell you what the adjustment, especially defensively, was: play your assignment. Play you're playing hard, guys, but they were so geeked up. They were they were they were missing assignments, and you're playing option football. That's a problem. Um, and we just shored those things up. Ultimately, it comes down to an overtime. Uh, defense had a great stop, and offense, you know, Sean throws a nice ball to Witt to end it. And this is a classic. You couldn't ask, I, I don't, for $8, are you kidding me? You want to find a, find a better game in the you game around. Unbelievable. Coach, I got paid to be here, so I, I, feel, <laughs> I feel like extra lucky. Uh, you talked about, uh, you know, Sean running the ball. I thought he showed great poise in the pocket because I, I don't know that those were all designated runs. No, they weren't. Scrambles, he would tuck it and run, take what they were giving him. He missed some passes. He'd turn around and make the play on the next play. He looked like he was worn out towards the end of the game, but he kept making the plays. I thought he showed great poise. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I, you just named it right there. Uh, things broke down. Um, you know, the talk about poise. He did show poise. I'm sure we're going to watch film and see where we missed some things, both you know, offensively and defensively. But ultimately, what the, the goal is to come away with a win, and we were able to do that tonight against a great football team. And um, you know, we'll watch film and work hard to get better, but we're still, we're still plugging. And we're still playing. Were you surprised at all that Coleraine was throwing the ball in the fourth quarter and not giving it to Montalo Caldwell? Well, they had the drive. Um, I think we got fortunate that they, they fumbled the ball down there because they had us on our heels a little bit. But late in the game, you, you, they didn't have enough time. They had one timeout, and we knew Tommy was going. I knew Tommy was going to have to throw the ball a little bit. Um, you know, it just uh, worked out for us. Sycamore has a great running back, Rayvon Bonner. He's rewritten the record books there. Yeah, great player. Any early thoughts on what you're going to have to do to keep this thing going? No, I'm going to try to enjoy the night. I'll get to work tomorrow morning, but I'm going to enjoy the night with the kids. Coach Specht, I appreciate your time. Absolutely. Go enjoy the rest of the evening. Thank you very much.